Do your documents and folders have plain, boring icons, making it hard to tell them apart? This tip shows you how to customise them. I went on the web and found this particular icon here that I quite liked and downloaded it. And over here you can see it in my downloads folder. I'm just going to quit Safari because I don't need that anymore. However, once that icon's in your downloads folder, then what do you do with it? How, for example, could I make that first app folder show this icon? So the first thing to do is to select the icon and then choose to open it with a graphics editor. Or if you don't have a graphics editor, you might open it with preview, for example. Here it is in preview. Now you need to actually select that icon, go to the tools menu and choose select tool and then just draw a box around it, like so. Having done that, go to the edit menu and choose copy. Now we can quit preview because we don't need it anymore. Come to the finder and select the item that you want to give this special icon to. I've selected the first app folder. Come to the file menu and choose get info. Now up here in the top left hand corner is a representation of that icon. Click once on it, you'll see it goes a kind of a darker blue. And now you can simply edit paste. And notice that the icon's updated there. And if you have the little preview section open, then it's updated there as well. And here we are. My folder now has that specific icon. I could have also given it to these files or anything else. If you already have a custom icon, as I have on this uh, alias for DHTML, you can simply select that one, get info, click on it up in the top there, go to the edit menu and choose copy, and then find something else that you want to give that icon to and reverse the process. Select the item, file menu, get info, click on that and paste. And now that particular document also has the same icon. I'm just going to switch for a moment to my home folder. And you'll see that some folders that Apple supplies already have their own unique icons. Suppose I select the music folder, get info. I still have that icon from before on the pasteboard. So I can choose Edit Paste and it picks up the new icon. To delete an icon you no longer want, just select it, press the Delete key on the keyboard and notice what happens in the case of the Music folder. It reverts back to the icon that Apple gave it and the same would happen with Movies and Downloads and those other ones. So have a bit of fun. You can draw your own pictures. You don't have to download them from the internet. Uh, but Copy the picture in a graphics editor or preview and then paste into the Get Info window. Have fun and let us know how you get on with it.